I mean, granted, I just walked upstairs with a big bag of shopping and like rolls of toilet roll and kitchen roll, but still, it's warm, it's sunny, and it's, it, well, I say it's warm, it's not warm. <gasps> oh, sorry, okay, so there was a little, <laughs> there was an old man in the shop, right, who I've just seen, so I know he now lives here. <gasps> Maybe he's Brian. Oh my God. So that gentleman there with the yellow shopping bags, <laughs> he basically was in uh, the queue, well, he wasn't even in the queue, there was a massive queue in the shop and there were two tills, one was open and one was closed. I was in the main queue with everyone else and then there was another till that was closed, there was no one on it. And he just decided to just to put his stuff there until a person obviously came to then switch on the checkout and uh, and we just like all looked at each other like what just happened he just played us all and i've just seen him walking with his shopping on the way ah oh, he's now officially brian that's how i picture brian now little old dude brian savvy brian with the shopping situation though oh brian <laughs> but anyway it's nice and warm and sunny and it feels like spring today even though there's snow everywhere it still feels really sort of springy, springy? Spring-like, which is nice. Um, yeah, uh, today was good actually. Today was a nice distraction. It was nice to be at work and not think about everything that had happened over the weekend. Because <sighs> on top of obviously the sad news about my grandpa. <sighs> okay, so I've been talking to a guy for, since November. So the conversation about kids cropped up and I basically said out right back in January, oh, I don't I don't really want kids. Well, I know I don't want kids. And he didn't really say anything about it at the time and then he brought it up again and I said, I don't want kids. And then he went a bit quiet ever since that and kept still messaging me stuff and being really nice and saying, oh, so I've just been really, really busy. I'll get back to you really, really soon. And then he just kept putting off and putting it off until I drunk messaged him and there was an awkward sort of like, I really like you and there was no reply, which made me feel real good. And then he turned around on Sunday to basically say, yeah, I, no, <laughs> basically. And the reason was because I don't want kids. So yeah, I mean, it's not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna turn around now and be like, oh, I've changed my mind because I, literally never ever want kids it's not the reason why he's sort of ended whatever that was that's upset me it was how he did it how he kind of just left me hanging it's like i wasn't even worth rejecting soon enough that's how i felt like if he's gonna reject me for whatever reason fine but at least you know do it in a timely manner so yeah, i feel like a tit now well no i don't I'm just like a bit deflated because this was months and months of exciting texting, like messaging and stuff. And it'd be something I'd look forward to getting a message from him. And now obviously I'm not getting that because I've told him not to message me. So it's a bit like, it's a bit of a weird feeling now because at the end of a day, usually I'd go and like see what he's been up to. And now it's like, I'm not gonna do that now. It's just. It's just, it's just getting used to a new routine of me actually just focusing on myself, not on him. Just spending some quality time with me in a beautiful city, with beautiful weather, with a giant cup of tea and some kind of dinner situation. Actually, I don't really know what I'm gonna have for dinner. I bought some chicken and I bought, bought some vegetables and I bought, oh, bollocks, I forgot to get some tuna. I knew there was something else I forgot to pick up. Damn it. I mean, I'll just go and pick some up tomorrow, but that's not the point. Oh, man. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's because I wasn't in the office on Monday. I got confused. <laughs> Um, yes, I worked out this morning and I hated every second of it. It was the 
oh, Pio core, which my core's always been weak, like not just abs, but back anyway, like just the, just the middle area, it's always been weak. So, um, so I'm there like struggling, but I did it, I completed it, I hated it, but I got through it and that's what's important. <laughs> it is Saturday um, I haven't vlogged for the last couple of days just because literally nothing has happened I've gone to work I've come home I've been tired I've gone to bed so that, that's kind of it um, but today is very important because today my friends Kat and Darren are coming over from the UK they've landed they've messaged me they're on the metro they're on the way to um, uh, Norriport station and then they're gonna come on the bus to come and see me and then they're obviously gonna have like a little holiday break doing their own thing oh my god oh my god oh my god ah, they're on the bus they're on the bus okay that's okay calm down let me just reply so i'm gonna go quickly put some shoes on go downstairs it'll like take two seconds to go to the bus stop and wave at them and then we're gonna go to the shop pick up some like just bits um, and then have a proper natter and have a catch up because it has been so long since I've seen them. In fact, even when I was in the UK, it feels like ages since I've actually seen them. So um, I'm so excited. And because we're all nerds, um, Back to the Future t-shirt, obviously, they'll appreciate the geekiness. Well, Kat and Darren have just headed off to their apartment. They're just gonna dump off their suitcases and like just freshen up and have a bit of a chill and then gonna come back we're gonna go into kind of Copenhagen city we're gonna get some dinner and uh, yeah just catch up and have a chat and all the fun stuff it's just nice to see a familiar face and uh, and Kat is the one that did that basically she uh, sent me that that I got on Valentine's as like a Galentine's type card, which was super cool. So um, yeah, she I'll put some links below. She's got her own like, she's got like a store where you can buy stationery and like cards and awesome stuff. So I'll put some links below and check her out. She also did the wedding stationery at my wedding, um, which was phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put some links. So yes, I'm just going to get a cup of tea. I'm going to catch up on some TV shows that I've not really watched during the week and then um, and then wait for them to come back my way and then awesomeness. Yay! What the... Hold on. Brian's window's open. What? He never has his window open. Something's not right.